Good day everyone. This is ASDS Hector Makalalag of Bislik City Division. Uh, I would like to welcome you to my first session on the National Qualifying Examination for School Heads Review. So itong exam ay dati-dati uh, nakabase sa DPED Order Number 32 Series of 2010 and now there is DepEd Order Number 24, Series of 2020. There's a sudden shift from the DepEd Order to a new DepEd Order because of the very many underlying circumstances. So I would like to welcome you, uh, dahil um, si Yusek Jess Mateo nagpalabas ng isang advisory na i-revive yung principal's test. Kasi naman, Maraming vacuum ngayon, maraming item na vacant kasi Limbawa, pag may mag-retire na principal 3, syempre may mapopromote na principal 3 At yung principal 1, uh, tataas siya, di ba? So, uh, yung principal 1, once walang passer sa isang division, syempre, uh, mababacuum siya Walang mapopromote na principal 1 in our division alone, we have vacancy for elementary and secondary because we have no supply of principal passers. So that's why we're having this activity in order to refresh to you, in order for you to learn, relearn, and unlearn. We need to unlearn because uh, sa seven domains ng uh, Deped Order Number 32 Series of 2020, naging five na lang siya sa Deped Order Number 32, uh, 24 series of 2020. So, there is a need to shift. There's a need to unlearn those things that we need to unlearn. We need to relearn and learn. So, we will focus our discussion on DepEd Order number 24, series of 2020, and we will discuss this one. I hope that this material will help you as you prepare yourselves for the incoming principal's exam. So, uh, I'm happy to say that in terms of examination, I have that authority to encourage and inspire everyone considering that uh, my experience as a seasoned educator, as a seasoned principal, I've been a principal for more than 10 years, a supervisor for almost 3 years, and uh, assistant schools division superintendent for uh, almost 4 years, and I have also passed all the exams that is needed for this position. So, I hope that you will bear with me kasi yung examination, there's really a need to focus yourselves. Unang-una, magbibigay ako ng tip sa inyo. Unang-una, ang exam, pag-take ng exam ay PRC. Hindi Professional Regulation Commission, but you need to pray, you need the intercession and divine intervention, you need to review, just like what we are doing now. And letter C is, you need to be confident. You need to be positive because you will claim it as you take the examination. You claim it, you pray for it, and of course, you review. So, ganun po. And then when, we, when you take the exam, kailangan yung mindset ninyo as a school head. Kasi pag teacher ka, nang take ka ng exam, uh, kung ang mindset mo ay as a teacher and you will choose as a teacher so that will make your answer wrong you imagine that you are already a school head and you are deciding for a certain situation of course lahat ng situation ngayon sa incoming uh, exam na ito sa principal ay nakabase sa DepEd Order number 24 so we need to finish all the five domains and this video is just the introduction, the rationale of that five domains. In a succeeding video, I will discuss to you one by one the different domains. So, friends, I hope that this will help you as you prepare and brace yourselves for the incoming examination. So, I will be using PowerPoint presentation as I discuss its concept. 
and I hope that uh, you will learn a lot from this encounter and please share this to everybody who are preparing and bracing themselves for the principal's exam. Here we go! Okay, magsisimula na tayo sa ating National Qualifying Examination for School Heads or commonly known as the Principal's Exam 2021. We will be focusing our discussion on Deped Order Number 24, Series of 2020. This is entitled the National Adoption and Implementation of Philippine Professional Standard for School Heads. This is the uh, ASDS Hector D.N. Makalalag. So, we will be discussing one by one what are the background of this DPED order and the direction of this DPED order. So, nagsimula ang lahat ng ito, of course, advisory ni Undersecretary Jesus R. Mateo. Uh, this is dated uh, February 15, 2021. He said that there will be uh, the revival of the conduct of National Qualifying Examination for School Heads or NQSH 2021. So, mag-abang-abang tayo. So, habang nag-abang-abang, review-review na. Kasi kailangan din natin ang uh, pag-review about this one. So, this is the basis. This is our legal basis. That's why we need to prepare. Okay. Sa rationale, makikita natin sa DepEd Order na ito, ang rationale ng DepEd Order number 24i uh, or sa PPSH, PPSH, no? Ay, school heads as stewards of schools play a crucial role in ensuring and enabling and supportive environment for effective teaching and learning. So, crucial po ang role ng mga school heads para sa pag-effect ng teaching and learning. Kaya nga, um, kailangan, we will select the right three people and we need, we need to test their um, ano yung mga background, ano yung mga nalalaman nila, no? So, kasi crucial, no? Uh, this is about teaching and learning. And then, the second rationale of this is teacher quality is vital in raising learner achievement. So, there is a need to upgrade the school heads because the school head, in other words, uh, in return, will really have an effect on the teacher quality because of instructional supervision. So, the third one is there are changes brought about by the K-12 Basic Education Program or the curriculum. Kasi laman natin yung Deped Order number 32, Series of 2010, uh, this is from the administration of uh, former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, hindi pa yun K-12. And then sa time ni President Binigno Aquino, nag K-12 na tayo, so marami nang nabago. And we also have the ASEAN integration. We have the Philippines Qualifications Framework. We have the ASEAN Qualifications Framework. So, we have the globalization and etc. So, this really calls for the rethinking and revision of DEPED Order Number 32 Series of 2010. So, ito yung na alam natin na NCB SSH. SSH no? um, PP SSH introduced a continuum of professional growth to pursue career progression. So, ganun po ka-importante ang DEPED order na ito. That's why we are having this. The definition of terms. So, importante malaman natin bago tayo mag-go on, mag-discuss sa different um, domains, kailangan natin i-discuss ang definition of terms. Domain is a broad conceptual sphere of school leadership practices defined by specific trends in PPSH. So, kung makikita natin sa DepEd Order number uh, 24, uh, yung domain, makikita ka agad natin kasi uh, mayroong limang domain. No? 
So, domain number 1, domain number 2, domain number 3, at domain number 5. So, I will be discussing that one mamaya. So, ang ano yung domain? That is a broad conceptual sphere of school leadership practices defined by specific strands. So, ano naman yung strand? Makikita din yung strand sa table, no? So, ang domain is defined by specific strand in PPSSH. So, the second one is indicate, indicator. Ano yung concrete, observable, and measurable school heads, practices, covered in every strand of PPSH? So, mayroong mga indicator that is given. And then, the professional standards, these are professional practice expected of quality professionals to achieve at every stage. So, may mga professional practice. Take note, kailangan ang professional practice expected of every professional. So, kasi naman, may, may mga career stages. So, hindi pwede yung uh, nandyan ka na sa position na yan. Kailangan, you are, you, are to, you are expected to perform at your expected level. Halimbawa, master teacher, at a principal 1 ka na, kasi school head pala ito, hindi ito teacher. So, halimbawa, principal 3 ka na. So, dapat ang level mo ay mas advanced na doon sa mga principal 1 or sa mga head teachers. No? So, i-discuss natin yan mamaya. School heads, these are responsible. So, kayo yung mga, yung mga TIC ngayon or yung mga aspiring school heads, you are responsible for administrative and instructional supervision of schools. Nasa inyo talaga ang administrative and instructional supervision as defined under 9 RA Republic Act 9155. Yun ngang mga district supervisor, they only have instructional supervision function na lang. Wala yung administrative sa kanila. Pero yung school head, nandun pa rin yung administrative function. Unless otherwise, the PSDS is being delegated by the school's division superintendent. So, ang strand, a specific dimension of practice under the professional standards. So, yun yung strand na sinasabi ko kanina. Okay. The PPSH framework uh, adhere to the following principles. So, ang PPSH framework adhere to the following principles. Number one, it is learner-centered. So, kailangan talaga learner-centered, di ba? Kasi, uh, para lahat na ginagawa natin sa learner naman, di ba? So, kailangan learner-centered. The second one emphasizes on building and strengthening a network of stakeholders for school and people effectiveness. So, kailangan talaga natin makipag-link sa ating mga stakeholders. Kasi hindi natin kaya in the ped alone. So that's why it is one of the principles of PPSSH. The third one is, it reflects the understanding of problems and issues at the school and the, and the need to address them. Of course, ang school head, alam niya ang problema sa school and you know how to address them. Otherwise, if you don't know how to address them, you have no business being a school head. Kung hindi mo kayang isolve ang problema sa paaralan, ano pang business mo as a school head? Kung ang ipasolve mo yung mga nasa taas lang din, you have no business as a school head. PPSH uh, focuses on developing high quality instruction. So, Developing a school culture and ensuring a job embedded professional practice or development for school personnel. So, ganun po ang PPSH. Okay. It also reflects the values and concepts in promoting school success. So, dapat Iyong values kasi dapat establish yan ang concepts sa kada school. Tapos, PPSH uh, 
regards supervision as a crucial organizational behavior in school management. Kasi nga, yung supervision is really a major function of a school head. Tandaan po natin yan. So, sabi niya, a crucial organizational behavior. So, if you are not into supervision, then, bakit pa tayo mag is school head? Next is, it highlights the importance of accountability and transparency of school heads. Ito, maraming issues. No, accountability and transparency. Kailangan talaga, as a school head, you have that sense of accountability and transparency. Kasi pag hindi ka transparent, syempre, paano ka mag-survive as school head? We need to be good to our stakeholders and of course to our teachers. And then, it is anchored on the principles on inclusivity. So, kailangan, you, you recognize that there are unique needs and specific needs of uh, uh, learning individuals. No? Uh, kaya nga inclusive yung ating uh, educational system. So, dapat i-recognize natin yan. Yan yung PPSH. So, this is the PPSH framework. Hindi masyadong makita. Pero, nandyan sa outer circle ang mga five domains. Tapos, people effectiveness and uh, school effectiveness, yung mga arrow. And then, yung mga individual, holistically developed Filipino learners, nasa centers ya. So, yan yung ating PPSH framework. Okay, ito na tayo. Ito na po tayo. Ito yung meat ng ating discussion. At iisa-isahin natin yung i-discuss sa susunod na mga videos ko. What are the five domains of PPSH? So, ito yung five domains. At bawat domain, may mga strands yan sila. So, uh, kailangan natin, natin siyang i-introduce. No? So, mamaya, uh, sa susunod na mga videos, i-discuss ko every domain and the different strands and the career stages. So, the first domain, domain number one, is leading strategically. So, nandito yung mga vision and mission and core values, school planning and implementation, uh, policy implementation and review, research and innovation, so mas na sa school heads ang research and innovation, program design and implementation, we have the learner's voice, and then monitoring and evaluation. Sa domain number 2, managing school operations and resources, nandiyan na ang records management, financial management, school facilities and equipment, management of staff, school safety for disaster preparedness, uh, mitigation and resiliency, and then emerging opportunities and challenges. Sa domain number 3, focusing on teaching and learning, of course, no? So, nandiyan ang School-based review, contextualization, and implementation of learning standards. So, isa yan sa crucial function ng school heads. Teaching standards and pedagogies, teacher performance feedbacks, learner achievement and other performance indicators, learning assessment, no? and then learning environment, uh, career awareness and opportunities, and then learner discipline. Sa so domain number 4, nandiyan ang developing self and others. Ano yung nasa laman ng developing self and others? Personal and professional development, professional reflection and learning, professional networks, performance management of school personnel, leadership development in individuals and teams, general welfare of human resources, rewards and recognition mechanism. Nandiyan na, embodied na ang rewards and recognition. Then, sa fifth domain is building connections. So, this is all about management of diverse relationship. Akasali ah, para talaga, no? Management of school organizations, inclusive practice, communication, and of course, kasi nga, building connections is the community engagement. So, ganun ka-importante ang five domains of BP SSH. Okay, there is a need 
to have quality school heads in the Philippines. So the quality school heads in the Philippines need to, of course, set the directions of the school. Kayo yon. Kayo yung magse-set ng directions sa school. Manage the systems and processes in the schools. Kayo yon. And then promote quality teaching and learning. So isa yan sa major function ng school head. You are going to promote quality teaching and learning in the school. And then nurture themselves and add, nurture themselves and others and then engage in stakeholders. So kailangan talaga yan. So ito nang sinasabi ko na career stages. Kasi pag wala ito mahirap, no? So kailangan you function according to your position. So pag you are in the higher position, you must be at the advanced or higher career stages. So sa career stage 1, these are the career stage 1 school heads or aspiring school heads. So imagine, so pag principal 3, huwag mong sabihin nasa career stage 1 ka or principal 4. Kasi yung career stage 1 is for, for, is for aspiring school heads. You must have acquired the prerequisite qualification for the school heads position. So yung mga uh, prerequisite qualifications ng school head position. They demonstrate the basic knowledge and understanding of the authority, responsibility, and accountability. Ano yan na mga word na yan? Nasa 9155, may pin pa yan ano on, yung aura. No? Authority, responsibility, and accountability. Aura. So, expected of school heads as described in Philippine Professional Standards for School Heads. So, makailangan may aura ka. Hindi pwedeng wala kang aura. They also have acquired the minimum qualifications to perform their functions as instructional leaders and administrative managers. So, kailangan sa instructional supervision, ikaw ang number one. Hindi pwedeng i-delegate mo sa mga, halimbawa may assistant school heads ka, siya lahat ang mag-ano ng... Uh, uh, instructional supervision kailangan ikaw din you should have that minimum qualifications as instructional leaders and managers in your school they are equipped with exceptional teaching and or leadership skills by career stage 3 or career stage 4 in the professional uh, standards for teachers or other relevant equivalent qualifications and experiences. So, pare-pareha yung ano natin na yung mga exceptional teaching and leadership skills. So, of course. So, paano ka magiging school head kung hindi ka exceptional? So, kailangan talaga exceptional ka as a school head. And then, okay. So, itong career stage 2, no? So, natapos na natin madiscuss ang career stage 1. So, sa career stage 2, um, career stage 2 school heads apply the minimum or apply the required knowledge and understanding of authority, responsibility, and accountability expected of them as described in the Philippine Professional Standards for School Heads. So, kung kanina ay sinasabi ay demonstrate yung career stage 1, ang career stage 2 kailangan i-apply na ang required understanding of the authority. So, karamihan sa mga principal dapat nasa career stage 2. No? Ina-apply ang mga required knowledge of the aura. They are professionally independent. Uh, take note, professionally independent in performing their functions as instructional leaders and as administrative managers. So, kailangan sila, uh, uh, take note, ha? professionally independent. No? So, in performing their functions. Kailangan talaga knowledgeable siya at na-apply niya. And then, they maintain school effectiveness and people effectiveness by lead, leading strategically managing school operations and resources, focusing on teaching and learning, 
developing themselves and others, and building connections. So, uh, kailangan talaga mag-build ng connections, no? And then, they reflect on their practices for the improvement and seek to involve all school pro personnel in professional learning and career in advancement. So, kailangan involve mo lahat ng iyong mga school profession, uh, personnel in learning and career advancement. So, kailangan it is a must for you as a school principal na ma-involve lahat ng iyong school personnel. Okay, let us now proceed with career stage 3. So, career stage 3, school heads consistently displayed an in-depth knowledge and understanding of the authority, responsibility, and accountability expected of them uh, as described in the Philippine Professional Standards for school heads. So, kung ganina demonstrate ang career stage 1, ang career stage 2 ay apply sa pangatlong stage consistently display an in-depth knowledge and understanding of aura. So, consi consistently display an in-depth knowledge of aura and then they exhibit advanced skills in performing their functions as instructional lead uh, leaders and administrative managers. So, uh, ano yung keywords? Advanced skills in performing their functions. They also establish shared governance with the wider school community in the efficient and effective implementation of school policies, programs, and other initiatives towards the attainment of instructional goals. So, they establish shared governance. No? And then, they continuously reflect on and take steps to address their development needs and those of other in the school. So, kailangan ina-address niya ang development needs sa paaralan. So, that is career stage 3. Hindi na basta-basta kasi sabi niya, in-depth knowledge and understanding. No? And then, uh, kailangan exhibit advanced skills, establish shared governance, and then continuously reflect so about sa mga development needs. That's career stage number three. For career stage number four, uh, school heads consistently exhibit mastery in their application. Kung kanina ay in-depth knowledge and understanding of aura, ngayon consistently exhibit mastery no consistently exhibit mastery in their application of authority responsibility and accountability expected of them as described in philippine professional standards for school heads so kailangan hindi lang sa isang beses dalawang beses na master but consistent they model the highest standards of practice in performing their function as instructional leaders and administrative managers. Ano keyword? They model the highest standards of practice. And then, they empower the wider school community in the implementation of school policies, programs, projects, and activities towards school community transformation. Keyword, empower the wider school community. And they commit to, in, to inspire all school personnel and fellow school leaders to continuously pursue excellence and create lifelong impact in the school and community. So, the keyword is inspire. So, ano yung mga keywords sa career stage 4? Uh, consistently exhibit mastery, model the highest standards, empower the wider school, and then they commit to inspire all school personnel. So, yun yung career stage for na uh, principals or school heads. 
So can you imagine if you are in the career stage four? No, as we age and as we have experience in our career, it is expected that our end point as a school principal should be at the career stage four. Hindi tayo tumatandang paurong na from career stage three, bababa ka ng career stage two. Instead, we will go higher as we age. So, thank you for listening. Watch out for the next episode about the discussion about the different domains of PPSH. Okay, that's it guys. So, yan po ang background ng intro natin para sa ating incoming principals exam. Watch out for the succeeding videos for the different domains. God bless us all.